Hi, this is the time of year when I get ready to go to the Fairy Congress, and that is gathering of kin, those who are um, immersed and wanting to connect with nature spirits, with fairies, dragons, gnomes, uh, devas, all beings related to nature. And I've been encouraged to share a little more about, even if you can't go to the Fairy Congress, how you can open yourself to the realms of nature. Um, you know, we live on a planet of forgetting and remembering. And so that's a dance that we're in very strongly right now with our spiritual awakening is to remember. And in that, um, such an important part of that is the softening, allowing, surrendering our hearts, our energy, our flow, back to nature. When we recognize that every aspect of nature is a sign of love, is a sign of beauty and truth and a calling home, a calling to be home once again in your body, in your joy, in love with your life. And this is the remembering to be in that state of love. And knowing that you are part of the forest, you are part of the water, you are part of the beauty of creation. Creation is oneness, we are all in one. But I know um, we all go through times of forgetting, times that we need to remember, um, times of struggle, times of joy. And so I wanted to um, connect you with someone from the nature spirit realm, a fairy, an elemental, a guide, it could be an animal, um, a whale, it could be um, an angel, it could be any guide that would help you and support you in softening and opening and remembering. So welcome. So I invite you to take a deep breath and we'll just do this attunement. It's like a love attunement to connect you more with home. That energy that you're longing for, that love that you're longing for, that nurturing, that nourishment of the earth, the divine mother, whatever it was that maybe you didn't receive um, when you were young or still need um, that sense of love and support. So I invite you to connect into the crystalline grid of Mother Earth with your own crystalline grid and then expand and connect the crystalline grid above to the sun. And just imagine you have a conduit, a central channel that flows with love and light from source, creator, God, goddess, whatever you believe, whatever words you use, um, down into your crown and through your body and then down all the way into the earth and into her beautiful core. And we're gonna connect with the green realms of the fairies, those all around us in our um, yard, in the forest nearby, in our favorite mountains and rivers and places, and also in our home and those who are around us that we may have not been aware that they're right there with us to support us. I'm gonna call in the fairy queen first. And she invites us to be true to our nature. Be true to your nature. And she is going to I don't know if a sign is the right word, but connect you with a guide right now. Um, like I say, it can be any kind of guide and just like open your mind, open your imagination and let yourself receive whatever kind of picture, feeling, uh, energy, sensations, even symbol just open to who might be there. I'm seeing the whales come in too. 
and whales as record keepers of the earth um, know everything that goes on here. So they can also help you connect with important guides for your life. There's a lot of dragon activity lately, more and more dragons coming through. So if you wanna meet your dragon, there might be more than one, but to start with just asking for the guy that can help you open the most to your relationship with nature, to your relationship with yourself, how to soften your heart and awaken more with ease and grace and feeling safe here. I know that's a big one for many to feel you can plant your roots and really go deep beyond the traumas, beyond the generational traumas and the lineages and allow yourself to feel safe, feel loved, feel supported. I'm seeing unicorns for some of you. Just take another moment here. And even if you don't get this being right now, just holding the intention that you want to connect with this being right now to support you and work with you. And by asking that and intending that, that will happen. It may be when you're outside, maybe when you're driving around or um, sitting quietly having a cup of tea or in your meditation and journeys. So just being open. I can feel the flow of Mother Earth. Um, if you'd like to receive this, like transmission to help you with this connection, I can feel a lot of flow up from the earth. It's this beautiful color. It's almost like honey nectar, golden yellow um, color. And it's coming from inside the earth and it's coming up and just allow that to come in through your root chakra and into your body, like the sweetness of honey, really lovely. So I think the bees, bees have been coming in yesterday. They were visiting me. So this is another guide that some of you might want to work with, the bees. So yeah, we're seeing the fairies, we're seeing the whales and the bees, the unicorns. There might be someone else. But those are all available if you're not sure. And I'm also seeing the rainbow dragons, solar dragons. I see them as different colored dragons from the sun. Um, beautiful, colorful, like yellow, bright yellow, bright red, bright blue, bright green. And these ones, um, independently are different colors, but then they work together and create a rainbow energy and do a lot with our DNA, do a lot with um, healing for the ley lines for the planet, but also for us. So I see them coming in too. So I think we're getting this love attunement from these different um, beings with that invitation to awaken and connect and be more aware of a specific nature guide. I'm seeing a snail for someone. It's like a, yeah, it's beautiful. It's like, yeah, just moving along. It's wonderful to have guides that teach us um, to slow down and pay attention because of the rapid movement in the world. All right, we'll see if there's anyone else that wants to come forward. Definitely a lot of goddesses and grandmothers and that feminine creation energy of divine mother, grandmothers of creation. And they're here too, all the time to help us with that softening of our heart and remembering that we are love, that we are kin to all of these beings, that we are part of nature, part of the forest, part of the ocean. So I think I'm just here to remind you when you forget, to remind myself when I forget. And 
this month has been a water month in my Patreon community, working a lot with water. So I want to mention the waters um, and the trees. The waters ask us if you do feel you need support, if you do feel you want to connect more, open to that through your feelings. Water is the medium of feelings. It is the energy of our emotions, of our of the language of nature, not so much knowing, um, like hearing, um, I shouldn't say hearing, like mental or thoughts, but more about hearing and sound and those currents. And the sound currents, whether it's singing or chanting or opening to listening to the sound of the water, not just the ripples and the waves, but also if you can let your attunement um, your frequency move to the higher octaves of um, audio clear clear audience. Um, then you're you might be able to hear like the frequencies and the frequency shifts, the kind of chimes and songs of the elementals of the waters. So just spending time by the water feeling may open up your hearing and clear audience. All right. So enjoy. It looks like we have a bunch of guides come through besides the one that works that wants to work with you more specifically, but you're free to call on any they're with you. And if you would like to explore more of this kind of work, please join my Patreon community. I have a few tiers um, and have a beautiful day.